All right, listen up. We're Hebrew Israelites. Come out here every week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked place called America and to bring these people on the side match with true nationality. We Negroes and Latinos, Native American Indians, you're the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks about. <clears throat> and it's our job to warn you of the coming ev uh, imminent destruction of America, all right? This place, this land that was built upon blood, man, is gonna be destroyed. All right, by who y'all ignorantly call God and Jesus. All right, because y'all cut, that, that's the point. Y'all ignorantly worship things that you don't even know about or that you know, all right? And the most high, he, he's upset. He's tired of all the, uh, the, the uh, vain worshiping. He's tired of you uh, polluting the land even more. And he's a righteous power. So we come back to lay down that word indignation in the Bible talk, uh, means uh, righteous, uh, righteous judgment, right? So that's what he's coming to do. There's been a lot of, uh, recently, there's been a lot of uh, people saying that we take the, the, uh, the scriptures out of context. That's a lie too, man, we don't. It's plain to the, it's plain to the men of the Lord, but to y'all it's stumbling blocks. And it's gonna always be a stumbling block, all right? This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 5. <clears throat> or verse 6. Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels and flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God. And it says in flaming fire. So how do you, how do you, how do you, uh, how do you misunderstand that? He says that he's going to take vengeance on those that cause, that are, uh, on the enemies that cause trouble to the men who are bringing the truth down. And that's the thing, man. The men of the Lord, are all the highways and byways, <clears throat> we're always bringing out the truth. All right? Our message has never changed since, since the time that we came out. So from the time that we started telling you uh, who these people were, uh, the, uh, who, what, our, what our, our Lord really looked like, what the Father looked like, the description of him, all the way to the uh, to the destruction of America and you two thirds, all right, and to the so-called white man, all right, because he's the one that puts that all on, on you people not knowing the truth, all right. Uh, Second Thess Thessalonians one and eight, and flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shemashiach, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. All right, so you're going to be punished, all right? You two-thirds, so-called white men, the heathen, the rest of the nations. Right? Any, anything, anything that's in the world and it offends, anything that is contrary to the true law of the land, to the true law of the earth, the universe, you will be rooted out. You, will, you, you are that branch without fruit and it's going to be cast into a flame of fire. You know, and so, uh, like the brother said, man, any, anything that upholds and exalts itself against the Most High is going to be rooted out. You cannot trick the Most High, man. We've told you this over and over again. A lot of you people, man, y'all walk in your lives like you've got a certain, uh, uh, a cer a certain uh, security on you people. <laughs> like you're gonna, make, like you, like you're safe, right? Nobody, nobody knows their, uh, their future, man. The only way you can tell is going through the scriptures, man, of how you might be saved. Even then, you're not guaranteed uh, uh, safety. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so, amen. Right, and it says, like, what it said right there, too, and them that pierced him. Basically, in a spiritual mode, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to keep it, you don't want to go according to what he said. You wanted to kill, you wanted to, you wanted to blot out the law, the, the commandments, all right? A lot of y'all, again, like I was saying, all you people, y'all think that these, these, these words are done away with. The bad parts aren't, are, aren't uh, uh, <laughs> up effect anymore, all right? It's just good parts, like the mystery is just mingled in all the bad scriptures. It's not the case. We, we come out here every weekend telling you the same thing and reading the words verbatim. And then we break them down to you because you need to be taught. But y'all still don't want to listen. 
This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 11. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Right, and you have pleasure in unrighteousness. Like I said in the first part of Thessalonians, you uh, you don't know you don't know the Most High. It tells you in Titus they profess to know the Most High, but work, but are, but are abominable in works. You're pure in your own mind, and we know this place is pure in our own mind, man. The entire uh, the entire uh, land of America, the whole world, is engulfed in being right in their own mind, and we and we know that y'all push. Uh, if it feels right, just do it. Or what does your gut say? To do whatever your mind tells you, your heart tells you, to your mind. So we know it's not right. But it says that they, that, he will, that you will be sent a strong delusion that you'll believe on because you didn't want to obey the Most High. You wanted, you wanted to be a, uh, you wanted to be a uh, rude, all right? You wanted to scoff. You wanted to uphold yourself. Uh, put glory on yourself. Think that you know something but you don't. So the most high, he's gonna come with you. He's gonna come at you quick. This is John chapter three verse eighteen. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he had not obeyed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Right. And uh, I was gonna say this: that uh, the way you get that man is through this so this There was a, 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 an interview done with Jim Carrey just recently, and you, you could tell he was set up to come out and tell you people what he was going to say. But he said he came, well, when he came out on the uh, Jimmy Kimmel show, whatever, he said that, uh, he, said, he, he said, I'm tired of keeping secrets. I want to just tell you all the truth. The truth is, we work for the Illuminati, we govern, but everybody was laughing, right? Everybody was laughing when he said because they, they just thought he was playing around. He was telling everything that we tell you about. And then he said that the point, the reason that they're doing this though, is because they're trying to get a certain people. Uh, so docile and so ignorant to the point that they don't care about what they're really trying to do to them. And that's what y'all that's right there. They don't see, they don't see the uh they don't see the truth. Eyes, you know, let him see. So basically, that's what Esau's doing. He thinks he's God. So he's out there throwing, he's th telling you in your face, showing you in the movies and the music, you know, through individual, uh, uh, well, even through the, uh, your own towns and cities, you got symbolic uh, uh, images up that are telling you that, hey, this is this is uh, witchcraft, Freemasonry. You got a uh, uh, Egyptology. You, know, you got all these different types of. Uh, <clears throat> certain uh, things that are showing you that hey, this place is evil. But y'all people see him and y'all just say, oh, that's that's nice. Oh, that's funny because Jim Carrey, he, he, they, they, they do a curveball at you. They use a comedian and basically, you know, because Esau wants this shit to come out. He wants people to know. He's tired of keeping it secret. He wants it, he wants enough out to where he can come out. So, 
you're already condemned. So if you believe in an end other, outside of Yahweh Shai, <clears throat> your salvation's vain, man. Everything that you do, everything you worked hard for, your run for Christ, the work you're running Christ is in vain. Because there's many so-called Christ. All right? That's why Yahweh Shai said, beware uh, 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 of, a, of an antichrist. Uh, verse 20. For everyone that doeth evil, hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are that they are right in the most high. And a man that wants to come to the light, because he wants to correct himself. So you can tell your Romans, man, that I have not no sin for the law, man. That's how you find out when you're doing evil. For evil is a bad word. That's the word evil is synonymous to the word bad. That's all it is. Bad. Now how are you supposed to know that you're going off, man? Because uh, there was another thing. Uh, the brother Ariala had brought it out last week. Uh, and it was a good a good statement. Uh, the way y'all people uphold man and society to, to, society to that is uh, Esau put a standard of what a man should, or a good man of society is. That if you if you uh if you take heed to the laws of the land and the laws of, of the government, that's what makes you a good man. But if you you're here and you're a worker, you yeah. work, you don't live on welfare, you're paying your taxes, you know, you voluntarily help with the uh, uh, charity, you know, <laughs> certain programs, and then people recognize they reward you. That's that's how people think. That's what people think somebody's good. That's not what makes you good, according to the Lord's eyes. That's part of it. That's a small fraction of it. Oh, yeah, but yeah, man, but, but, that, but that's what y'all people's mindset and y'all, and that's what's pushing around this whole world. And so when, when someone else comes preaching a different doctrine or a different law, <coughs> which is really, that's why in Romans 10 it says, how should they believe except that preacher be sent? Or how, what's the first part? It says, how, how, uh, how should they believe, or how should they call on him and whom they have not heard? How do you know that what we're telling you is not the right thing, man? You've never heard this before. And the funny thing about it is y'all all thought we were wrong about what we said from the very first day we came out. <laughs> from the very first day we came out, we had people already saying that we were wrong or that this was crazy. I was reading in, the, in Ecclesiasticus yesterday, and it said, where it talks about how the Most High set up, uh, has uh, brought down many mighty men and set up but it says, and set up one that nobody thought would ever be set up. That's how it is with the, with, the, with, the, with today. The men that you uh, that you thought were troublemakers. That you despise and hate. That you despise and hate. Those are the men that, that the Most High is really dealing with. And, 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 and even those ones that you despise and hate, they're still telling you the truth. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 19. That we know that what thanks to the law saith is said to them who are under the law. That every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may be become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law shall no flesh, flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Yo, that's how you know that you're going on. Oh, man. So why not, 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 not obeying Esau's laws. That, that doesn't make you a sinner. Having sex with a woman before marriage doesn't make you a sinner. That's not adultery and fornication. Go, nowhere in the Bible did it say that you had to ha get married before you had sex. Nowhere in the scriptures does it say that. But that's what Esau says. And he, 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 he got y'all people bugging out. Thinking that y'all are evil at a young age. And then you, in your mind, you're like, well, I can't control it. So you start having sex with different people. When your parents should have that knowledge, you'd be like, okay, you lay with him? You lay with her? Y'all are married. And that's the only people you're fucking with. Because even, even y'all, you grown-ups are idiots. You get your own children bogged out. Not giving them sound doctrine. And the Bible's clear. The Bible tells you exactly. The Bible tells you exactly what you can and can't do. 
And if you don't understand, you're supposed to go to a man that has that knowledge and seek advice. But you people ain't never gonna come over here, and that's fine, you know? When you do, it's gonna be too late. It's gonna be too late for you. That's why the Mosai says, seek me early in, in, in the days where I still may be found. How can the Lord be found still? Those that have the knowledge, those that have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because you can pick up a book, the Bible, but y'all will never understand it. What happens whenever you bring out the right thing, man? I got this for you. Uh, this is Psalms chapter 119, uh, verse 126. It is time for thee. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, wrong one. Uh, uh, Psalms 120, or 119. Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. Nothing in the scriptures were all pure. Everything in the scriptures was pure. Like you got your Edomites, you know what I'm saying? You Latinos, you Negroes, that they y'all find this offensive. And y'all start calling the cops. Y'all trying to make false accusations. And that, that that's death to you. According to the most high, death on you. What? Every single one of you that have a problem against what the most high says, you have a bad recompense of waiting for you. And you self proclaimed Christians, you're not a Christian because you ain't suffering for the Lord. The word Christian was given to those in the old times and it was as a derogatory term. But today, it's supposed to be looked upon as, oh, I'm good, I'm an angel, I'm a saint. You know what the saints suffered in the Bible? Reach on, brother. The, bro the saints and the apostles, the brethren in the Bible, they suffered, they, they persecuted, man. They faced death. Not you, not you mediocre Christians here in San Angelo. Y'all are all weak. And y'all pray to idols. And y'all bow down to that white image Jesus, man. Y'all know not what y'all worship. Not one of you people, man. Not one of you yet come up here and y'all told us the truth according to the Bible. Y'all don't ever come with y'all's Bible. Every single one of you people in San Angelo, man. The whole globe because the most high, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, who y'all call Jesus, he has a problem with y'all, man. This is Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 10. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Right, and, and we know who we give warning to. We give warning to the elect. Because you two thirds, we don't, we don't give a damn about y'all. We don't care about you two thirds. That didn't, really, that didn't care anything he had to say. And you know what? He kept on walking. He didn't give a damn about any of y'all, man. He didn't care about any of y'all. He didn't care about what y'all said, what y'all, what kind of faces y'all made. They even called the centurions on the Lord. They even threatened his life. All because he was warning his people. All because he was speaking against great kings. Speaking, casting out demons, man. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. Y'all don't got delight in the chastisement of the Lord, man. Any of y'all people get chastised? Y'all suck, y'all hurt. Y'all don't like the, like the swine. Like swine that don't get their way, they start rolling around in the mud and throwing a fit. Read that part again. It says, Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. Therefore, I am full of the fury of the Lord. Therefore, I am full of the fury of the Lord. And that was Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah. 
Jeremiah. 